her employer, Mount Carmel Health Systems. At this point, the hospital has reached seven settlements. His lawyer said Husel was providing comfort care to dying patients, not trying to kill them. And an update for you, 11 o'clock, an Ohio House committee postponed a vote on a plan to make it easier for people to carry concealed weapons. Now, this plan being considered would eliminate requirements for people carrying a concealed weapon to tell law enforcement about the fact that they had a gun if they get stopped by investigators. It would also mean people would not have to get training, go through a background check, or get a license to conceal carry. Lawmakers expect additional hearings in a different committee later this year. Our new Center 7 crew heard about a number of pets injured from the Memorial Day tornadoes and flying debris has hurt some of the animals. Others were found during cleanup efforts. And we talked with a vet here in Beaver Creek. She said she has seen people volunteering to take these animals in. They are the heroes of the of the pet world, these fosters, the army of volunteers that help these rescues. Um, they're the ones who turn things around for everybody. Keep in mind if you find an animal, you can take it to an area vet or shelter to see if it has a microchip and be reunited with its owner. McCall back with us. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see mm -hmm. just quiet now on Live Doppler 7 based on what we saw this afternoon. I agree. We had so much rain and we started to see all those videos and photos of all the flooding across the northern part of our viewing area. And it will take a little bit of some time for that water to recede. And because of that, we still have that flash flood warning in effect for Mercer, All Glaze, Northern Shelby County until 1.30 in the morning and Logan County until 1.45. And these warnings have been extended because the water is still there and it is taking some time to recede. So we'll see if the National Weather Service allows these to expire at their set times or if they perhaps extend them once again. Further off to the south and west, there are some showers that are moving back into those areas. So that's why it's questionable as to whether or not they'll expire at 1.30 in the morning. While there is not heavy rain with this batch of showers, it's just going to add insult to injury to the rainfall and the saturation that has already occurred today. And really, that's all on top of the rainfall we've seen since this past weekend. Area of low pressure to our west, you can see the counterclockwise flow around it. That low pressure continues to lift to the east-northeast and will bring in rounds of showers at times tonight and again through your day on Thursday. Good news is we are losing the energy, so the threat for thunder thunderstorms is diminishing, but there may be a few rumbles of thunder again tomorrow, and that's just going to enhance some of that rainfall at times during the day. Flash flood watch continues until 8 o'clock tomorrow evening because of that potential for more of those downpours to work on through. As far as the flooding threat is concerned, here are th a few things you need to think about. If you are going to be out late tonight or early tomorrow morning in the darkness hours, flooding may be difficult to see, so just take your uh, time getting to where you need to go and just be a little bit careful as especially if you know some of those spots that typically take on water. Also, our rivers continue to rise, so we may see some of those smaller creeks and streams starting to swell a little bit more, and then those larger rivers. Then as we head into tomorrow, as I mentioned, more showers will continue to bring those water levels up as well. Futurecast shows those showers around past the midnight hour. Tomorrow morning, a hit or miss spot or sh spotty shower around daybreak. Then by lunchtime, we'll have a better chance for more showers and downpours, as you can see. We start to warm things up, and that allows us to enhance those shower and thunderstorms. 5 o'clock, still some downpours in play, but we'll begin to dry things out as we head towards Thursday evening into Thursday night. This is when we start to see a break in that precipitation, and we'll look at a mainly dry forecast for most of your Friday. That may change into Friday night, though. Overall rainfall estimates, and this is from this point on until Thursday night, half an inch to nearly an inch more possibly in some spots. So that's why we still have that flash flood watch in effect through tomorrow evening, because if we do get some of more of those heavier enhanced rainfalls, that we could see that flash flooding threat once again. River levels right now, most of them are in action stage, but I did see Sydney is expected to go back into minor stage probably late tonight and before daybreak tomorrow morning. So we'll watch those levels as we continue into tomorrow as well. And meteorologist Dante Jones will have the latest at daybreak at 425. Now Friday for the air show, if you're headed to the parade, it will be fine. Saturday and Sunday, fair 
conditions, there will be some spotty showers and storms at times. Saturday morning, there may be some ongoing showers, but as we head towards the afternoon, we may even have a break in that precipitation. So the latter part of your Saturday for the air show will be a little bit better than where you start. We'll see more showers and thunderstorms at times as we head into your day on Sunday. You'll see them once again in the morning, perhaps a little break once again towards midday and early afternoon. 74 degrees tomorrow, storm tracking alert with that flooding threat still in play. 78 summer as begins on Friday. We'll have more storms back in the forecast through the weekend into early next week. And again, Dante Jones is going to be up bright and early at 425 to get you going for your Thursday. The Vector Dayton Air Show is this weekend at Dayton International Airport. And today, New Center 7 joined Team Oracle for some practice. Sean Tucker returns this year with former student Jesse Panzer as his new wing person. And she was part of the stars of Tomorrow Group. Tucker instructed in 2005. The air show is Saturday and Sunday there at the airport. Prosecutors say it was a case of mistaken identity. Who they claim is behind the shooting of Boston baseball legend David Ortiz and the man they think was supposed to get shot instead. Live Doppler 7 radar for the fastest, most accurate severe weather warnings. Before your day starts, a massive fire in Harrison Township. News Center 7 is on the street. Traffic is now completely blocked. Working to bring you answers. Giving you live Team 7 coverage from all angles. Start every day with coverage you can count on.